this is kind of busy rendering right now. Um, as I let it render longer, obviously the quality would get better and better. Uh, obviously, it'd be nice to uh, get a different material for grass at some point, but uh, for now, we'll call that good. Um, let's take a quick look at a couple other programs. Um, actually, just one program. We'll look at Revit real fast um, and see how Maxwell is kind of integrated with that. Let's go ahead and find where Maxwell is located. Um, here we are. So, Maxwell Render. So, you can see here we have Render, Similar, uh, Log, Render Parameters, Materials, uh, Maxwell Grass. So, I would under I would assume that under Render Parameters. We could probably set up most of the settings that we went through. So from environmental settings, uh, using SkyDome or using physical sky that it's set to default, right? Um, to camera settings, shutter speed, film ISO F stuff. Um, even to uh, your general settings as far as your priorities, the amount of time, the sampling level, um, adjust all of that. So you can see here, um, you know, even the channels that we went over, uh, the render layers. So you pretty quickly see that the plugin is, is set up uh, to receive the kind of same information that Rhino sent. Uh, I'm assuming we can set up uh, materials. And within materials, uh, it already has the uh, default material library here. Um, but you can go through and probably, I would imagine, pretty quickly create your own materials also. So. Um, so that's just a brief look at how, you know, Maxwell's integrated. And I know Maxwell has a plugin for Max, it has a plugin for um, SketchUp. There's a number of other tools out there. Um, generally, it's always going to be looking for the same kind of information that we covered today in Rhino. Um, so as you look at it in other programs, um, you know, a lot of this uh, setup is going to be very similar, just, you know, specific to that particular, uh, you know, plugin for that program.